Hey all, it is the end of September and this project's kind of coming towards an end or hopefully for most of you it is or, or maybe it already has for some of you. I've already received some seeds in the mail. Definitely once that first frost hits then it's kind of game over for okra but um, you can start harvesting seeds as soon as they are dried down. So what I'm going to show you today is just a few examples of too early, good enough, and totally dry so that you've got some visuals so that you make sure that the seeds, after going through all this effort and all this selection and growing and tasting and everything that we've done, that right at the end you make sure that the seeds are viable so that we can grow them again next year. So I'm going to turn the camera around and you can see what we've got going on. I like to give you all an update of the, the entire field because I'm saving a lot of pods and a lot of mine are overgrown and some of them have started falling over. The would-be white is pretty short, at least in my field, and has withstood some of that tendency to, we, we say lodging when it falls over with a plant. So <clears throat> my would-be white, if we were to go in close to one that I've selected, you see my orange tag is for a selected pod. It's still pretty green got a little bit of flex in it and it's not ready yet and I knew that would be the case because I didn't really make my final selections until right the end of August so really it's only been about you know less than 30 days and we're looking for about 40 days for seed maturity if I show you this one here we've got a very obvious this isn't would be white but the whole pod is turned brown you can see the seams have split and that is like crispy and beautiful and if we were to crack that open in fact we might even be able to if I shake it we might be able to hear some dry seeds oh look never do live camera action with animals and okra um, but uh, w what you'll hear with some varieties and, and maybe when you have she would be white is it almost becomes like a maraca you can shake it and hear the dry seeds rattling around on the inside but this pod totally brown definitely ready to harvest I could clip that today and have mature seeds uh, to plant again next year. But there are some in-betweens and if that frost is coming or real heavy rain that you're worried your pods are going to get soaked and go moldy, then uh, you, can, you can make some decisions. For example, this pod on this side looks just like that other one. It's like opened at the sutures and it's beautiful, but if we turn it around, it's green on this side but it's still split at the sutures. I don't know if you can see that. Like, if we focus in on there, there's that split there. And even if it's green, if it's split there, then that's a pretty good telltale sign that the seeds are good to go. And what I might actually do for you, let's go back down to my harvest basket. I'm gonna see if the camera proves me wrong. Okay, so what you can see there is real dark, solid seeds, and those seeds probably need finishing a little bit of drying on the inside, but they're definitely good to save and plant for next year, even though the pod was still green on the outside. And that's because seed maturity happens before the pods are fully dried down. So if you can get the pod fully dried down on the plant, that's great. If there's a frost coming tomorrow and you're almost there or you've seen that seam to start to split, you can snip the pod and bring the pod in and let it finish drying inside with a fan running on it. If you're nowhere close to that, like you're more likely, like if we we're gonna get a frost tomorrow, I wouldn't wanna harvest this pod yet. This might would be white. So I'm gonna, I would cut the whole plant and hang that up in a barn or somewhere cool and dry with a good airflow. And at that point I'd be kind of hoping, hoping for the best, but more than likely the plant would start to, the whole plant would start to die and dry down and the seeds would continue to like suck the last amount of life out of the plant into that final seed production. So you'd, 
you'd probably get away with it um, for something that's close but not quite ready to be harvested. Obviously, if we're gonna get a frost tomorrow and I wanted seeds from this little baby pod, <laughs> then there's no hope, it's game over. Um, but if you're close but not quite there, you can still have success by cutting the whole plant. So, you know, just walk, walk through your okra and you, you'll start seeing the differences. Here's another one that's brown on that side, but still kind of green on that side. So we can get away with that one. Come down here, we've got a full brown one. That one's totally ready to go. I could already harvest that one. Some of them go like absolutely beautiful. Look at this one here. This is where you could use pods for flower arrangements. Here's an example with a red pod where you've got some browning on the south side, but it's still kind of red on the shady side but the seeds are going to be good in there already so just pay attention to your plants give it as much time in the field as possible and make sure you pull them in either before the frost or if you're really close before a very heavy rain thank you so much